welcome to episode number two of Allison's Eats. Today we are going to be making a super easy and vegetarian spicy sriracha garlic ramen. Truly so delicious and although it might not be the most nutritional recipe, it still is a healthier option and I love to pair my ramen with a nice little side salad of spinach and ginger dressing. It's so so yummy and that's a good way to add a little more vegetables to this meal but I really hope you guys enjoy and let's get into it. For this recipe, you'll need some instant ramen noodles, some garlic cloves, sriracha, green onions, vegetable broth or a broth of your choice, some corn for topping, unsweetened milk, sesame oil, soy sauce, and one egg. Okay, I just put up my hair so it's not in the way and I'm popping on my apron we are working with sriracha today after all and I don't really want sriracha stains all over my outfit. Okay so I already started boiling my eggs and they finished boiling. I still need to peel them but basically if you don't know how to hard boil eggs I would just do a quick little google search. There's many different methods but it's all super easy. Sometimes it's tricky to get the eggs the right consistency but just keep an eye on them and I'm sure you'll do just fine. I added mine to boiling water and then once they were in there for about 10 seconds I turned off the heat and covered the pot and let them sit there for 10 minutes in the hot water so that's what I did but now I'm just going to cut up my garlic Actually, I'm gonna grate my garlic because we're having grated garlic and because we want it to be super, super fine. And then I am going to chop up my green onions. my green onion I actually separated it from like the more white part of the green onion to the darker leafier part and we're going to use this part to top our ramen bowl and then this part we're going to use when we're cooking our broth and noodles just to add some additional flavor but this side of the green onion is a lot more tough and rough so this one's more ideal just as a little sprinkle on top. super careful if you're using a handheld grater because the garlic is really really tiny so it's easy to kind of skim your finger so just be super careful I've done that before and I have a scar on my thumb from cutting parmesan with a handheld grater so once it gets too small just mince it and it'll be totally fine all chopped up I'm going to just take the shell off of my hard-boiled eggs this is definitely the most time-consuming part but of course another option is to buy pre hard-boiled and peeled eggs also a side note if you are vegan or you're trying to do more vegan meals the only thing that is not vegan in this recipe are the eggs so that's a super easy thing that you can just omit and even the ramen I have is vegan and I used coconut milk, unsweetened coconut milk for the cream. So really great option, but yeah, I'm just going to put on some music and <laughs> peel these eggs. Side note, you do not need three hard boiled eggs. You actually just need one for ramen bowl, but I just made extra right now because it's easier to kind of make them in bulk and I know I want to have ramen one other night and I want Brandon to have one, so therefore I made three. Okay guys, we're really making progress. Um, now we're gonna just take a pot and you can add canola oil or avocado avocado oil, actually that's a thing and I have some, but I'm just going to add some olive oil to my pot. 
I always just eyeball it. You can just do like half a tablespoon. I just kind of like to fill the whole bottom of the pot because then we're gonna add our grated slash minced garlic. let it cook for a couple minutes until it becomes fragrant and then we're gonna start adding our other ingredients like our sesame oil sriracha soy sauce and our broth and then we're gonna cook the ramen separately so we have our instant ramen and you might have a different brand than I so what you're gonna do is just follow the directions on the back of your packaging and if you did get just like the generic ramen that comes with a seasoning pack, you can discard the seasoning pack. And those like really cheap ramens taste so good and the seasoning pack is just amazing. But the reason why it's so amazing is because it's so incredibly salty. So this is definitely a healthier option. I will probably season mine with some pepper and sea salt at the end, but it's a lot better than the little packets that are so processed. Okay, so I'm gonna add two and a half tablespoons of sriracha. And if you are not a spicy lover like I am, I would do a bit less. Definitely tweak it towards your taste preferences. But again, I have a very high spice tolerance, so I could probably like put this whole bottle in and just be fine. But you gotta do what works best for you. Okay, and now we're gonna add one and a half tablespoons of soy sauce. And the soy sauce that I actually use is not actually soy sauce. It is no soy, less sodium, soy-free sauce. So basically it has 40% less sodium than other leading lower sodium soy sauce brands. So it's just kind of a healthier option. But seriously, no worries if you're using regular soy sauce. It honestly probably will taste better that way, but I'm just trying to be a little more healthy. It's starting to smell so freaking good. It's just garlic and sriracha, so it smells pretty heavenly. I'm also gonna add in my green onions like I shared I would earlier. And now they can get nice and tender when we have the heat on. whole cups of your broth and again I'm using vegetable broth because I want to make it vegetarian but if you want some kind of meat broth that is totally fine as well. I almost forgot that we need to add our sesame oil and we only do a half a teaspoon of this so if you are trying to save a little money and you want to make this recipe you can totally skip the sesame oil it definitely isn't crucial but it does add some extra flavor but we really use such a small amount so just wanted to point that out that if you're trying to be cost effect efficient and save what you can you can definitely skip the sesame oil honestly the only time i use my sesame oil is when i make ramen so it definitely, I'm sure you can use it for tons of other things, but that's all I use it for. So again, it's definitely not necessary. Okay, the last thing for our broth is our milk. And again, I opted for coconut milk. Make sure you get unsweetened because sweet coconut milk in your spicy ramen would be horrifying so make sure you pick out the unsweetened if you choose coconut milk as well and so now that we have everything for our broth we're just gonna let it simmer for about three or four minutes I'm also going to add a little garlic powder and onion powder to my broth just for some additional flavor this again is totally optional but I love these spices. These are some of my basics and also some ground pepper. I feel like it adds so much to every dish. And since we are making spicy garlic ramen, some garlic powder can really take it to the next level. And I honestly eyeball this. I know that's frustrating when you're trying to follow a recipe, but 
once you start cooking more and more, you will definitely kind of feel it out better and it'll just come more naturally. I'm just going to drain it. It only took about three minutes to cook, so super, super quick. And then once it's drained, I'm gonna add everything together and then we're done. I cannot wait to show you guys the final product. And now I'm going to top with some corn. Mine is just from a can. You can do fresh or canned either way. That looks so tasty. I'm getting hungry. And then we do have a good amount of green onion already, but I'm going to add a little bit more. And then, of course, our egg. Our delicious ramen I actually haven't tasted it yet I have made it before so I'm hoping it still tastes delicious but I'm gonna do a live taste test so I'll try to get everything here we go mmm 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 that is so good it is spicy though so again you have a very low spice tolerance lay low on the sriracha <laughs> but i really hope you guys enjoyed this recipe i'm gonna go ahead and eat this all up because it's lunchtime and i'm hungry but thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys are enjoying these cook with me and allison's eats videos i'm so thankful for you and can't wait for the next one so i'll see you very soon bye